Assalamu alaikum. This presentation is about how to finish up a continuous suture if you are using uh, one of the several patterns of continuous sutures and you just want to finalize uh, the suture line. Continuous suture patterns are formed up of three main elements. The initial anchoring stitch uh, and the final uh, fixing stitch and the continuous pattern in between these two. So if, for example, if this is the simple continuous pattern, you start with a simple suture between one and two, and uh, you knot, you have your first anchoring uh, stitch here and the first knot in two, and then you go from two to three, from four to five, from six to seven, from eight to nine, and when you want to end it, you are left with one single strand of uh, suture that you want to form your final knot on and there are several options to do this. The options you have um, to tie on a single uh, strand of uh, suture is either to form a loop on that single strand and then tie in between that loop and the remaining part of the single strand. Um, that is the most uh, commonly used way of tying the final knot. Uh, but as you can see, it's going to form a fairly unbalanced knot um, and the security is sometimes questioned for uh, the unbalanced and unsymmetrical knot between a loop and a single, uh, and a single uh, strand of the uh, suture. Um, forming the knot between two loops uh, on each side um, is going to form a bulky knot that is not desirable. One other option to tie the final knot is to use the Aberdeen knot, which provides a fairly a stable and secure knot. It's formed out of the single strand, but by consecutive looping of that strand, and interlocking these loops, you form up a fairly secure uh, and stable uh, knot to finish your line. Uh, and the way to do it is just to do a consecutive looping of the single strand. You pull on, a p on part of the uh, suture through a loop, form another loop of the same strand, pinch a little bit of the suture line and loop it again so a new loop is going to be formed and you go on doing this until the very until you are happy with the security of your knot then you finish by passing the needle through the last bit of the suture through the last loop pulling on it and you've got the secure uh, suture uh, secure knot the secure abandon knot the other issue that you would have to consider when you're finalizing your suture line is to change the direction of your needle to form the last um, stitch. You do this with the uh, simple conti continuous suture pattern or the lock, the blanket suture pattern. Uh, you finish up your suture line here and you have now you reverse the needle go to the other side now from the opposite to the initial side and you leave a loop here of the suture retrieve the needle with the last bit of the thread and now you can use this either like the Aberdeen or use the uh, more traditional way of forming a knot between a loop and a single uh, strand. When you are finalizing the uh, intradermal or the subcuticular suture, um, you, the, your final suture after finishing up your line should be in the subcutaneous tissue. Uh, you just take a bite in there to uh, fix up the whole of the suture line to the subcutaneous tissues again, much like what you have started with, like an anchoring suture. And then once you have uh, done this last fixing suture, you retrieve your needle, but leave a loop of the suture. 
and then you can do the other deen not through that loop by pulling on on a piece of the uh, free uh, strand securing a part of the knot doing it again each time you pull a new loop through the old loop secure it in place do it again And just go on doing this remember you'll be using in the intradermal of the subcuticular suture things like 5o monocryl or um, usually synthetic material so you'd need to add up uh, like uh, five uh, different throws before the knot is completely secured once you have achieved this you retrieve the needle go below the knot come up to the surface beyond the apex of the uh, wound pull on the thread and you bury the knot now in the subcutaneous tissue and you cut flush with the skin surface to finalize uh, the Cushing or the Connell type of continuous sutures they are formed up of con uh, repeated units of um, modified horizontal mattress sutures uh, you just continue doing this until you reach the end of your wound by taking bites and the tissues parallel to the wound edge so that you would leave strands of the suture perpendicular uh, to the wound edge to invert uh, the wound now you've probably reach the end of your wound so you go on doing it in the same way and then this should be your last you change the direction of the needle go backwards now again parallel to the wound edge now you can either do the uh, Aberdeen knot here or you can just use um, a loop and a thread type of suture uh, tying to form the final knot the Halstead suture is a double suture formed up of two vertical mattresses you've uh, passed the first vertical mattress from far to near near to far you reverse the needle and you are doing the second uh, line of the holstead so you form two parallel vertical mattresses connected together like a horizontal mattress and now you can just tie on that and this will finish up the line uh, but of course if you want to do it as a continuous line you just go on and do more units Lambert sutures are uh, modified vertical mattress sutures where you go from near to far on one side reverse the needle and come back on the to the other side Now, you're going from far to near on the same side to finalize the suture line. And you have now a loop on one side. You can do the uh, Aberdeen knot here or you can just do it do another bite on this initial side end up with a loop on one side and a free strand on the other and then you can tie these two together so this is about how to finish up your continuous suture line 
and uh, to tie the last knot either by a loop and a suture, two loops, or the more elaborate uh, and more secure Aberdeen knot. Salam alaikum.